Hi there, welcome back. It's Trisha Fulton here. And in this video, I'm going to do a quick rundown of how to create unlimited landing pages in Thrivecart. Now these landing pages, you can attach a product for sale, a product for free, a giveaway, anything that you want. Consider a landing page that's a funnel that takes a customer directly from A to B to C in order to complete a specific transaction. Now I'm going to show you a couple of examples of landing pages in this new account that I've just set up and, uh, and we'll go from there. Let's get started. So this is a simple landing page that I created with Thrivecart. It took me about five minutes to create and probably half an hour to write the content. And I want to show you what's possible because there's a few different ways that you can do this. This landing page has a header, which is a picture, and that's created in Canva. It was very simple and straightforward to do. It has some body text. So I've used the approach of a long form sales letter. And actually this product is for free. So if you're interested in learning how to use Thrivecart, go ahead and download this program. It's totally free. There's no catches. I do this because I actually love doing it. And as you go through, you'll be able to see I've got a single checkout page. Now, why is there a checkout page when there's a product for free? And that's a great question. Um, when you're giving away a free product, you have a couple of ways of doing this. Obviously, it's for free. And the second one is you can do a pay what you want. Now, if someone enjoys my videos and in tutorials and they really want to give something back in exchange of goodwill, then they can also make a contribution to my channel. And by doing so, I reinvest that money into making more videos. So it's a win win. And it really shows me so much appreciation that you enjoy this. So when I created this landing page, as I go back to the top, I added an image at the top. I have a URL. I could also add a domain, um, a custom domain. So if I wanted it, I could have as trishafulton.com and then slash whatever the URL page is going to be. Um, I have a checkout section. I have a list of what they're getting and um, some testimonials. Now, the reason I've built this out into so much detail is to really show you what's possible. Now, if you don't like having this long amount of text, you don't have to do it. Literally with Thrivecart, it's drag and drop. So let me jump in right now and show you what you need to do. First thing is we'll go along to the live page here and I'll show you how you can edit it. So we're going to go to edit product settings. Check out. I'm in the standard. Go next. Launch the editor. There's two parts to this. The first is the landing page, which is the cart page. And the second part is the success page. And that's the thank you page. So that's what that looks like. Literally, all you need to do with Thrivecart is um, choose the design. And on the right hand side here, you drag and drop. So if I want to add a subheading, I add it here. Hey there. And then I could save it and I'd be done. But I actually um, don't want that. So let's delete it so I don't make a mistake. Um, as you go down, you can see this is an entire box. If you don't like it, you can delete it. If you want to duplicate it, you click here. This is simply an image. So I would upload an image like this. And let's say I want to use this image and add it like this. Now, you can do this as two images. Um, perhaps you might like to select another one and have it side by side. Uh, so we're just going to get rid of this one because we don't need this. And literally drag and drop. Now I'm going to create another video following this one um, that will show you step by step. And perhaps um, you might find it helpful if I give you some content to include. So you can literally do exactly the same but with your own information. I went over to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, let's go there quickly. And I took some testimonials from my LinkedIn. We have here in LinkedIn. Why can't I find it when I'm thinking of it? Here we go. There's a ton of testimonials here. 
Um, so if I would like to include any of these, all I need to do is copy paste it and I can insert it as an image. Um, I actually took this snippet from my mobile phone, so I viewed that on my phone. It seems to work a little bit better because you can take a photo and it's much more narrow and concise, or you could copy paste it if you want to from a, just say, a screenshot. On the left-hand side here, I've typed in some testimonials. The format that I've used there is just the testimonial block, drag and drop. And literally you add a picture of someone I'll just add a picture of myself for this and then you put the person's name here who they were write your testimonial here now, you may have some great testimonials from your clients um, that have emailed you to say thank you for the work you've done. If you have that, include it here. If you have something maybe on your social media, you could include snippets. You don't have to type it in. You can add it as images as well. And you can literally drag and drop. Now, if I prefer, because the image below is on the left, if I prefer this one to be the opposite, on the left-hand side here, I just click this button. There's a format and layout, and it'll swap it over. That's so easy. Great. Um, and here I've just included some boxes. I will add one right now. So you can add a product information box. Really, there's there's no limit to what you can do. It's it's very creative and it's very easy to use. Um, so I'll just finish up this video here. And if you go to my YouTube channel and you look at Thrivecart landing pages, I'm going to put another video up shortly and I'll go through step by step slowly and I'll break this out and I'll build it out. And I'll also give you access to the lesson within my free Thrivecart course. And if you're interested in learning and seeing how to do that, it'll be super easy. Okay, thank you. And once you're finished, you, all you need to do is click next it'll take you to the success page. Now this page is actually pretty much blank. When you get this template um, in Thrivecart, you'll have a total of your invoice and your products. And then all I did was I just dragged and dropped some text and an image at the top and I uh, chose the colors that I wanted. Now this green is a standard color. You could change any of these if you like. Um, for example, if you click on the top row, you might like to change this to a purple. Um, all I would say is on your first page and your second page, keep the colors consistent. Don't change them around because it, it, it's subconsciously building trust with the person you're dealing with, with your customer. If it looks radically different, the branding on the first page and the second page, they may not check out. Actually, more likely they won't check out because they won't know if they're in the right place. So it's really important that you keep it the same. Now, if we go back to the first page here and let's just make sure that I'm actually doing the right thing. Um, I have the green, yes, green, green. It's all the same. So I'd go to success page and all you need to do is press next. Next. Save, done. We're all sorted. Okay, I'm going to make another tutorial now very carefully and slowly where I'll walk through and I'll give you some example content that you can download and you can create your own as well. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.